It's our post-game show brought to you by the big dog, Rick Jacklich. I'm Wayne Viner. Woof, woof. Thank you, Bruce. That's Bruce Posner. Mason's <laughs> in the middle. Um, we just keep this. I'm sure everybody saw the game when you just saw 10 interviews of Maryland players. What's it like bringing the PLL to Baltimore and having the town show up like this? 8,500 people. I mean, they knew. I think, <clears throat> I think if they had it to do over again, they'd have been here the first week. All right, because yeah. yep, yeah, because when you it basically look, there's a lot of other guys. Ryan Drenner to me was just unbelievable, and the face-off guy Nardello. Nardello did well enough. Did well enough. Did hold his own against the best ever. Yeah. All right, Trevor, Trevor Baptiste. Yeah. We got to see Paul Rabel, and that's always special. But uh, at the end of the day, the Whip Snakes are probably the best team in the league. And they take it today, 15-10. You just were speaking to Dan Morris that the game's changed over four weeks. What have you seen in the change? Yeah, the defenses have gotten used to it. You can, If you've seen the games, if you go back and watch them from week one, you can see the defense progress. You can see the goalie play progress. Everyone's kind of settling into it, getting used to it. But if from a business aspect the PLO had to have these three days where they're in Baltimore circled on this is where we go back to you know those lacrosse routes they can go out to Chicago and San Jose and LA because of when people show up to this game tonight Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Consulting help us support for your computers and networks managed services and 24 hour a day help desk are just a few of the affordable benefits Get help when you need it by Terps That You Know. Call us at 301-251-2900 or visit oneviner.com. And people did, and it was good for television. Unfortunately, this game is on the Pace side. What, what's the name of the channel on the Pace yeah, side? Yeah, NBC Sports Gold. It's You can sign up, and this is if you want this league to continue. You got to select the Premier League pass and really, you know, support this league because it's doing great things for the sport and taking it all over the country. What do you see in the speed of this game with the smaller field? Well, the smaller field and the 12 minute quarters. I said the, this is no lie because he, me, me and uh, Mason clocked it. The second half started at 8:30 and the game was over at 9:15. Perfect. Right? It just went on and yeah, they had a couple timeouts. Yeah, so I think it's one ad a quarter or under seven right. minutes. And it's all about the game. It's all about the speed of the game. The fifty seven shot the fifty second shot clock. I'll be honest with you. I'd like to see that in college. Wouldn't I think it makes for a, a better game. Yeah. And just like the MLL with our sixty second, mm -hmm. I think their game is also better, you know, and yeah. uh you know, we have to competition now, and competition yep. usually brings out the best in right. both. So, uh, if you look up quickly here, you got a team that has 50 shots and a team that has 36, and that's something that you rarely see on any other level. You're right. Hey, we'll be back here at Homewood after this message from the Big Dog. At the Jacklish Law Group, uh, not only will you feel like a member of their family, uh, you'll also receive uh, unprecedented customer service. We love our clients, and you'll see that if you trust us at the Jacklin Small Group, the big dogs from the small firm, and we'll reward your trust. Call the big dogs today. Don't wait. Find us online at bigdogsmallfirm.com. Welcome back to Homewood Field on the Jacklich Law Post Game Show. I want to make a comment. Standing at midfield for most of the game with the camera, this is a lot closer to an outdoor version of hockey. If you win a face-off, it's so short to the top of the two-point circle that it adds a lot of excitement. We saw a couple two-point goals, and you could tell it's in people's minds. Yep. But a game at this speed, with this much action, even though it was score was relatively close for most of it, you know, whip stakes take it 15 to 10. This sport can sell. I yes. think this actually has legs. Bruce, do you expect this to be successful? I, you know what? It's off to a good start, and uh, you got a lot of major. You got a lot of professional lacrosse, so the product has to stay this good. That's not easy to do. Oh, it was right? like an all-star game. Yeah, so it was like in? an all-star game, and uh, you know, but there's guys missing here, and there's guys, you know, there, there's a mixture. And maybe one day it'll be one. You know what I mean? Or one maybe, league. One league. But uh, you got two leagues right now. And uh, right now, I think 
us three especially are enthralled with this league because of what teams having the success well the Maryland team. yeah and they're our guys right so it means a lot mm -hmm. but uh, how's it gonna draw in San Jose how's it gonna draw even in it, Washington well who are the newest sponsors and then we'll talk about the schedule well uh, Capital One picked up um, a couple weeks ago they're on there, the Atlas Jersey sponsor. You know, it's building. It's it's. I see Gatorade, of course, yeah. Adidas. It's it's an on-the-run league. They're right. putting it together this so, year. They have the backing mm -hmm. of investors, and, you know, they, got, they got it going. Tremendous uh, backing, tremendous TV if, coverage. All right, if you missed it tonight, when are they back in the area? Yeah, July 4th weekend, they will take it to the brand-new Audi Field, which, if you haven't got out, that's a great chance to go see the new stadium down by Nats Park in D.C., and... Yeah, hopefully they'll have games okay. as good as the as ones it was that. today. Hey, well, I'd like to thank Meyer Consulting Engineer, Viner Four Gates Consulting, and of, co of course, Rick Jacklett. You want to bark one more time? <laughs> and let me remind you, Wednesday night, got a couple good guests <laughs> on Turp Talk. Absolutely. Uh, I've got uh, Jack Sawyer right, oh. from Calvert Hall. And he's going to be a Turp. He's going to be a Turp. For a and I've got the story of them all, the homeschooled young lady named Hannah Lubecker, who is her numbers are just through the moon coming to maryland next year and the under armor game we'll be back at homewood again now. we're like living in homewood well it's All a right. nice place it's the wrigley field of lacrosse or maybe that's the other way uh for bruce for mason i'm wayne thanks for watching and good evening from homewood field